Hi there, I'm Lauren, a third grade teacher and a Class Dojo team member. Let's talk customization. Customizing students' avatars can help them feel more connected to their class and take ownership of their behavior. One thing to note is that while the avatars are changed on your screen, students will still only see their student-created monster on their own account. Their class avatar is specific to your classroom, while their monster goes wherever they go on Class Dojo. Before we get started, search for and save the images you'd like to use. You can choose cartoon characters, superheroes, photos of your students, or whatever you want. Monsters are probably our most common avatar. Kids can dress their not-so-scary monster in a variety of outfits. Pro tip, organizing avatar images by theme and saving them in their own folders can make it easier to find them later. From my classroom, I'm going to click on Options in the top right corner of my screen. From here, I'll click Edit Class. I can start with any student, but choosing the first one on the list and going in order can help me keep track of whose avatar I've already customized. Now I click on the student's current avatar. From here, I can click on the blue Class Dojo Monsters bar. This lets me change their avatar to a pre-made Class Dojo monster. You can choose from options like critters and monsters with Halloween costumes. Now we'll upload those images we saved earlier. Click that blue drop-down again. Mine still says Halloween. Scroll down to the bottom and click Create New Set. Next, you'll be prompted to name your set. I am going to upload superheroes for my super class. Once you've named it, click Create Monster Set. Now I can upload my avatars. I'll click Upload Monsters, then Browse. My documents are now open and I can select the folder where I saved my photos. Now I can select the first one I want to use. Holding down the Shift key lets me select multiple images. I can select up to 10 at a time. If I need more than 10, I can always go back and grab more. Then I'll click Open. All of my avatars are there. Next, I'll select Upload 10 Files, and they're ready to go. If I wanted to add more photos to this set, i just click on Upload Monsters and choose additional images from my folder. Once I have all the avatars I want for this set, I'll click Save Set. Now I'm back on my first student's monster. I can choose any of the avatars I've uploaded. I choose the avatar I want and then click Done. This student's avatar has been changed successfully, so now I'll click Save. To change the rest of my student's avatars, I just need to click on their monster and select a new image for my superhero set. Then I'll click Done, then Save. I'll repeat this process for each of my students to change their avatars. Students love seeing their custom avatars on your screen. Many teachers use this as a student incentive. And once you've uploaded a set of avatar images, they're available for your current and future classes. I hope you and your students will have lots of fun with these custom avatars. Enjoy!